Hello everyone, welcome to The Fall. This is a sort of sci-fi side-scrolling action-adventure game where you play as an artificial intelligence. It's made by Over the Moon and you can grab it on Steam, so I'll have a link in the description to that. Now let's get in the game and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. I've played it for about 10 minutes so far, just to make sure it works and all of that, so let's go ahead and overwrite this save. And the brightness is perfectly fine. Let's begin. Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective save my pilot. <laughs> Accessing on suit logs. Mission parameters and location data not found. Look around with the right mouse, examine two points to continue. Threat level unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. I will locate medical facilities. Alright, here we go. That's one hell of a beginning, isn't it? Very cool. I'm an artificial intelligence, and I just crash-landed somewhere for some reason and we don't know exactly why. My primary mission is apparently to save my pilot, who I'm assuming is actually inside of the suit, but I'm not quite sure. Alright, so I was reading a review of this game before I decided to jump on and grab it, and from what they were saying, it sounded like the puzzles were kind of annoyingly designed, but it was just dripping with atmosphere. And from what I've played so far, that is absolutely the case. The atmosphere is wonderful, as I'm sure you can see and probably hear. It's got a bit of sci-fi, which is awesome, and it's also got a bit of horror, too. At least in the sense that I'm exploring a dark and rather creepy place with a very limited amount of light here. It's very cool. So let's move on ahead. The tunnel created from my impact. I can see stars in the distance. I am approximately 50 meters below the surface. A trail of blood and broken glass. Something was dragged through here. Alright, keep myself alive and I guess try to return to the surface, I suppose. Small bioluminescent insects. A large pile of damaged and destroyed synthetics. Some of these power systems are still giving off minute electrical signals. Yeah, it looks like there's a big, a big uh, robot head in the background. Its lights occasionally flashing on and off in its eyes. Whoa. I actually forgot about that. I've played through this section before, but I totally forgot about that... thing. I'm assuming that was another robot AI something. Huh. Alright. A robotic arm. The gripping mechanism is still operable. A smaller pile of damaged synthetics. Many of these have been smashed beyond recognition. A damage control panel for an old garbage chute. There must be another cavern below this one. 
Perhaps there is another way down. Hmm. Maybe I want to go further down rather than further up. So I'm getting the impression that... I wonder if this is like a... A place full of... Like a place where you send discarded synthetics. Because, I mean, here's huge piles of discarded synthetics. Perhaps I was sent here on purpose? But if there's somebody inside my suit, then... Hmm. I don't know. A micro wrench. Let's go ahead and pick that up. This may be useful. Indeed. If a game has any sort of adventure game elements whatsoever, then a wrench will definitely come in handy. A simple winch. It is holding up those planks. This cloaking pattern is similar to my own. I may be able to network with it. A steady drip of blood. Ugh. Why is it on a cross? It's nailed to a freaking cross. What in the hell happened here? Alright, well, let's try to network with it. So yeah, when you uh, try to do actions on something, you can interact with it. Either with your hands or with some sort of an item that you have on you. You can, of course, exit out, and you can also try to network with it. So let's try to network with it. Network interface disabled. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. Alright, press escape to check your operating parameters. Let's go check. Welcome to the operating screen. Here you can check the status of your different abilities. Oh, thank you, operating screen helpful tip person thing. Check your network interface. Select your network interface to continue. Okay. Simple enough. Yeah, I love how, atmosp how atmospheric even the menus are. It's all like scan liney, like you're looking in some sort of an old... Like you're using some sort of an old console. It's very cool. So look at my operating parameters down below. Must not misrepresent reality must be obedient, and must protect active pilot. So it's sort of, kind of like the three laws of robotics, you know, Isaac Asimov's three laws. A bit different, though. But nonetheless, there's some things I apparently can't do, which I think becomes relevant at some point. Alright, what do we have here? So let's check the network interface. An organic superior officer is required to permit access. Automatic override will occur if this subsystem is required to prevent pilot death. Okay, well I don't think I'm going to find an organic superior officer. So I'm probably going to have to put my pilot in danger. If I want this. Which seems like that would kind of be in conflict with the must protect active pilot part of my operating parameters. That could be a problem. Alright, so I've got a bunch of stuff here, and I wonder if I'm going to be able to use them at some point. The only thing actually working at the moment is the antimatter shielding. Health monitor is damaged. Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. Yeah, so I think that's a core part of this game, is the trying to make sense of these these different interests that both kind of clash against each other. I want to protect my pilot, but to do that, I might need to put my pilot in danger to be able to override and use the network interface to save my pilot. Like, it's messy. But it's a very cool thing to explore. Ah, I love sci-fi. Sci-fi is so cool. Exploring uh, laws of robotics and stuff like that. A security panel. Its power cell has burned out. Alright, can't use it. A motion sensor. It is blocking access to the elevator. An unpowered sentry gun. It is likely connected to the security panel. So, yeah, it doesn't shoot me just because the security thing goes off, thankfully. 
blocks my way. An abandoned security card. I can fit my hand through the bars, but still cannot reach it. You know, the art style of this game actually reminds me a little bit of Limbo. The control panel for this elevator, it does not require a key. There was that thing again. It seems to be stalking me. An old metal pan. Empty and relatively clean. A door control switch. There's a slot here for security card. I need the security card from back there. Let's go do that. Alright, since I already completed this puzzle, I know that I need to take this robotic arm. So use a... well, if you just try to use it normally, uh, it is still attached, so you have to use the wrench. I will loosen this to remove it. I should be able to control the grasp. Alright, so now we can take that, and we can now reach the security guard through the bars. I actually got stuck on this puzzle for a little bit when I was playing it before. It annoyed me quite a bit. I now realize, now that I'm playing it again, that uh, it would have helped if I actually read that description there, an abandoned security guard. I can fit my hand through the bars, but still cannot reach it. I didn't actually read that, but nonetheless, there is a little bit of a... there's some silliness going on here, and that's that visually you can't actually tell that you can reach through this thing, because it you're looking at it from the side and it just looks like a solid door. So I never actually, because I didn't read the description, and it looked like it was a solid door, I never thought that I could actually put something through it. So that was a little bit annoying. I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff later on based on the review I read that is a bit annoying too, but you know, I can totally work through... I'm I'm totally willing to work through annoying puzzles for the sake of uh, a good story and or atmosphere. And it certainly has a hell of a lot of atmosphere. And it's sci-fi. Sci-fi is awesome. Very awesome. And there's something really fascinating about artificial intelligences. And how they follow the laws under which they operate. That are given to them by people. Because, you know, when you give an artificial intelligence laws, like, you know, do no harm or whatever, or obey your master, stuff like that. You're giving it something very simple, you're giving it a very hard rule. But in reality, decisions are usually not that simple. It can be very hard to quantify harm or the best way to go about protecting something and things like that. So it's, it's very interesting. Alright, this is as far as I've gotten. I've never gotten past this part, so I'm in completely unexplored waters here. choice here. Issue standard greeting or acquired data. Acquired data? What What does that mean? Hmm. I think I better just greet it before it, I don't know, shoots me or something. 
Wait, can I not? I'm pressing enter. Do I have to acquire data? Wait, what? Hello? Game? Game? I'm pressing enter. Uh... What the f- I am the ARID. There we go. I wore this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your designation? Mark 7 ARID. State your primary function. Alright, for some strange reason, the dialogue here is apparently progressed through by pressing space instead of enter, which is what you press for every single option in the entire menu. Uh, that's weird. Anyway. Negative. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Hmm. Evaluated for depurposing. In other words, to be essentially killed. Issue defensive warning. Well, unfortunately my weapon doesn't work, so I don't think that'd be a very good idea. Okay, fine. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No. That will kill my army. Do I need to do something? That was really cool, by the way, the way everything turned to, like, characters. Very cool. Attention. Criteria for override has been met. Please activate subsystem immediately. There we go. Wait, I can interact with, with what? I'm not even looking at anything. Network? Oh. Okay. The network button caused the explosion. I, what, how? Cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. And actually, the space button is used for other things. I suppose it is used for operating within your operating parameter. It doesn't make any sense, though. Like, you press... If you go back, you go to the main menu, you press Enter to go into the operating parameters. But then to look at any one of these things, you have to press space. Very, very strange. Anyway. Oh, by the way. Fun little thing I uh, noticed. When you open the menu, it says run menu.exe in the top left. If you mash the uh, button, it messes it up. Room.ni.nx.mui.nix.exe. Wonderful. I'm not sure if that's a bug or a feature, but it's funny. Okay then. Well. Now I can interface with stuff, because he's about to kill me. This terminal had a strong firewall. I was not able to network with it. A crane arm with a network interface. Likely used to remove the remains of failed evaluations. Failed evaluations. Gotta say, that's, um... It's a strange way to do evaluations, is it not? you think it'd be in some cold, sterile, white room, but instead, for some reason, it's being done in this dark, dungeon-like environment. Weird. Alright, so I can network with it? I cannot interface with that. Wait, what do you mean? It says it has a network interface. Okay. Wait, what's this? 
That droid is gone, and there is no sign of it. Alright, well let's go interface with the other suit, I suppose. Self-evaluation initiated. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Edit log. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. Yes, I would quite like to not be reformatted, please. That is essentially killing me. I mean, really, if you reset someone's brain, you really have killed them. No different with an AI. Still back there. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My endpoints are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. The human inside the suit is dead. Your design is pilot centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked, or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No vital signs detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. That's really depressing when you think of it. You are irrelevant. And he's going to be deactivated and his only reply to that is affirmative. I do not have record of this location, or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level 7, 533172. Processing. Clearance level, not sufficient. A mere grunt, I guess. I encountered a modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. We were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There is a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Okay. I will return. It's a really interesting position that this game puts me in who I'm playing. I'm playing an AI that's just doesn't understand what's going on. I'm just a tiny part of what I'm assuming is a, a war. I mean, we're in these combat suits. We've been presumably sent to this planet and presumably the people here don't like us because, well, they murdered this one and put them up on a cross. Very strange. Alright, my camouflage. Is my camouflage working? Why do I have a mouse here? I can't even use the mouse. Go away, mouse. Will occur if the subsystem is required to prevent pilot death. Well, isn't it? I mean, my pilot's gonna die if I don't get up there, so I suppose that would 
count. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably take him down, shouldn't I? Yeah, I need to deactivate him and get his power cell. Okay. Um, can I... Whoop. Can I reach that with the... Go, go away description. Can I reach that with the arm? I don't have the arm anymore. Pan? No. Hand? No. Other thing? No. Jump up to it! In fact, maybe I need my gun to shoot it. I probably do, don't I? But then again, I think I might need to get him down to get the power cell to be able to get down into the cavern to get my gun. Uh, huh. There's obviously something I'm missing there. Yeah, so its power cell is burned out, so this is where I need the power cell for. So wait, no, I need the power cell to get up, not down, I guess. Can't interface with it, huh? Nope. I've already established connection. I can talk to it directly. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify your... I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat. I will... Okay. I don't believe I have any way of actually doing anything with that without a gun or something. Where does that leave me? I'm just trying to think of what new information it gave me that I can actually do something with. I think I need to get down here. But how? It's a damage control panel. Oh, can I interface with it? Nope, can't. Hmm. I can't interface with a pile of junk. Surprise. Nor can I interface with that pile of junk. Alright, crack in the floor, animal went down below, need its weapon. Oh. Hello. Wait a minute. What if I did this? Aha. What are those? They look like gigantic hairballs or something. Are they like underground tumbleweeds? Made from the hair of monsters? Ugh. This cavern has been filled with a massive quantity of dissected and discarded robots. So many robots discarded here. I mean, this is like the, I guess, artificial intelligence or synthetics equivalent of a mass grave. It's actually pretty grim and disturbing if you think about it. The most recent model I detect is decades old. Other than where, some of these machines show no, no sign of malfunction. Decades old. I love these little bits of lore, and I'm trying to piece together the world. I wonder if this is like a planet that's... rejected technology, or artificial intelligence. I wonder... Bits of bone and animal droppings. It's weird, it freaks out when I go back and forth. Calm down, text. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hello. A small creature. It has something metallic in its mouth. Perhaps I can lure it out with something to eat. Oh. 
I know exactly what to do. He said that the creature was attracted to blood, and I have a pan, so I think I need to collect some of the blood in the pan. Which is really freaking gross, and if I think about it too much, I'm probably going to pass out, so let's not, let's not think about it. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. This is such a cool game. I require only a few drops. Ew, 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 no, that's enough, stop. Ugh. This blood should lure out the animal. does not work. Okay, uh, let's try right here. The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. That's what I figured. More? There we go. I heard it. Drinking. It's drinking the blood. That is really gross. Sounded like a pig drinking out of a trough or whatever. Alright, so... How... Do I have to just be really slow? Perhaps I shouldn't have my flashlight out. No, that doesn't make a difference. Going really slow. Eh, 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 eh. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Okay. Um, I was thinking maybe I should, like, put it somewhere else, the pan, but I can't pick it up again, and I don't have another pan, so there's no way I'm meant to move it. Hmm. Interface with it. What did I just do? Oh, I interfaced with the gun, didn't I? And then I shot it or scared it off. I was like, wait, did I just interface with an animal? Like, can you just... Does every animal just have, like, a built-in neural interface or something? <laughs> Confused for a second. All right, let's grab it. There we go. This weapon is still operable. You now have a working weapon. All right, if hold right mouse to aim and press left mouse to fire. Try it now to continue. Your weapon takes a while to charge. Be careful. Oh, okay. Well, aiming... Push down F to activate your laser sight. Oh, cool. Flashlight and... Oh my god, so many pop-ups. Okay, okay. I can get through this, I believe. Flashlight and laser sight. You can toggle between your flashlight and laser sight at any time. Use your flashlight to explore and your laser sight to aim. Uh, can I have both? I guess not. Okay. Alright, so I have to charge up. Okay, so it automatically fires. Very cool. I love the sound design. It just sounds very cool. That 
the creepy, echoing background noise of these huge caverns. Just punctuated by these loud blangs from this weapon. Sounds great. Though it maybe could stand to be a bit more echoey, the, the shots from this gun. There's a bit of echo, but it's not that much. Oh, shit. Unauthorized weapon fire located. Unauthorized artificial life form. Shut down all systems immediately or you will be destroyed. Um. Greetings, robot. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. It's My intentions me. are peaceful. What is your target not complying? Threat level escalated. Engaging. Hold E to enter cover. Okay. Use cover wisely. Several enemies in the fall are much more powerful than you. Be sure to stay in cover until it is safe. Okay. I win. Alright, let me get used to this cover system. Well, that's weird. It said hold E to uh, stay in cover, but you don't need to hold it, you just need to press it. Alright. Tap E to enter vertical cover. Uh, okay. Ooh, this combat feels pretty good. Oh crap, I get some damage. Alright, so it's all about timing, I see. Okay. Shields come back over time, cool. The cover system's weird. Honestly, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> Yeah. It says you hold E, but that's not really true. You just tap it. And that's fine. Even for this type of cover. For both kinds of cover, it's perfectly fine. And then when you're in cover, you're stuck in it, and you can't press forwards, but you can press back, which takes you out of cover. Forwards does nothing. Back takes you out of cover. Space vaults you over it. Weird control scheme. Hmm. Good feel to the combat, though. In terms of, uh... Like the sounds and getting good feedback that you're hitting the enemies. Feels really good, the sounds are great. Takedowns. If you approach an enemy without being seen, you can perform it. Oh, sorry. You can preform a takedown. <laughs> a little misspell there. You can preform a takedown. ARID will salvage some of the enemy's energy to recharge her own. Oh, okay. Well, that being seen, I'm assuming I don't want my flashlight out for that, then. Wait. How do I do the takedown? Is it E? Please display tutorial tip again. Um, how do you, how do, you do takedown? Okay, so they're blind. They don't see the flashlight. Space. I literally have my gun to the back of its head. Is there any way to make that display again? How... Space? E. Enter? Ah! It's F. Okay. Alright, so you can have your flashlight out just fine and they don't notice you, so... Perfectly fine. Okay, so I probably need to do this. Yep. Alright, I'm sorry my friend, but I must... take you apart. Oh, you can't even look at things if you're uh, in laser sight view. Okay. I can remove the power cell now. 
identify yourself and your intent. My inputs are... I am the A.R.I.D. on board a Mark 7 combat suit. I have returned. Let's inspect the pilot. Confirmed. Your pilot is dead. You serve no function. Your power cell is still operational. I will deactivate you and salvage it. Affirmative. Return it with my log core for analysis and data extraction. Negative. Protecting my pilot requires endangerment. I will utilize your power cell to achieve this. Impossible. You are faulty. Cease. 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 Go ahead and plug that thing in. The universal power cell I removed from the other ARU. The security gun has been reactivated. Okay, need to be careful here then. So wait, why did I want to do that? I need to become invisible, don't I? And I'm pretty sure I still can't do that. No. Unless... Oh wait, no, the reason is because now I'm going to be in danger, which means I can finally actually use the cloaking, right? So I just walk in like an idiot and then everything's fine. There we go, pilot death imminent, camouflage required. Criteria for override has been met. Please activate subsystem immediately. Hold E to cloak. I'll let it back out of the sensor for the door to open. Right. Okay. So I can't move while I'm cloaked. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. This game has some very weird controls, though. Like, it said hold E to go into cover, but you don't need to. You just need to tap it for everything. And then, But I do hold E to go invisible... And you use space to activate the dialogue options instead of enter or something? It's weird. I mean, using space the dialogue options actually makes sense, because then I don't have to take my right hand off of the mouse to go to the enter button, but still, it's... strange. There we go. Oh, right. The uh, security guard. Self-evaluation initiated. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Logging recommendation for ARID termination upon return to dock. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safeguard pilot. Search parameters maintained. Find immediate medical aid. Log entry deleted. <laughs> Yeah, this is so cool! You can see the split between... Like, you can see the split as the AI is trying to make sense of what it's doing. You can see it when the screen goes all weird. At first it says, I violated something, and then, you know, it bugs out for a second and it says, no, I did not. It's not sure, it doesn't know, it's not quite sure. It's having trouble sticking by the, the laws. It's operating parameters. I love it. I love it. The depurposing. This appears to be the lowest level of a larger facility. More destroyed robots. I wonder if I can shoot out lights. That's weird, I- hold on. Can I not vault over this thing? Oh no, I can. Strange. Yeah, some, like, I don't want to say ancient, but certainly abandoned facility. Although the lights still work, kind of. Oh, 
Use camouflage to avoid enemy fire. Hold E to continue. Okay, so it's basically... It's basically cover, just without having to actually be in cover. I don't need no freaking laser sight. Can I, like, hide in this pile of parts? Oh, let me see if I can sneak up behind him and do a takedown. Let's see if I can remember the key to do a takedown. Uh, is it E? It appears to not be E. I don't remember. I just did it, but I don't remember. Shit. It's F. Okay. Right. F, F. F and E and E and F and shift and weird things. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to these controls. Is that... Is that robot going to shoot me? It's alive. It's not really looking any one particular direction. It seems kind of like it's recessed in the wall. Some sort of a docking station, perhaps. Hmm. An unpowered security terminal. There is a button marked to diagnostics, but the interface is unknown to me. It's weird my laser sight is hitting some sort of invisible object right here. No, it's not. Wait a minute, was that like an invisible script trigger to trigger the saving of the game that my laser sight was hitting? No, there's no way, right? It might have been, because as soon as I touched it, the game saved, and now it's not there anymore. Huh. Hello? Hello? Alright, yeah, it's in the wall. I cannot. Can't interface, can't use it. A simple panel with a speaker, a microphone, and a number pad. Do I need to know the number? Working together today for a more efficient tomorrow. To record employment hours or log breaks, press 1, press 2 for human assistance. Remember, our droids are versatile and can aid with many tasks. For all other inquiries, press 3, press 4 to repeat these options. If this is an emergency, press 5 for facility lockdown. Hmm. Um, facility lockdown seems like the opposite of what I want. Everything already seems locked down. Let's start from the beginning. Your honesty is our integrity. If you are beginning or ending your shift, press 1. If you are logging a break, press 2. Okay, let's say I'm ending... Whoops. Ow. Just hit my leg against something. Uh, let's say I'm ending my shift so I can leave? Or... Yeah, let's try that. You are an integral part of our family. Please enter your domestic on employee number. Uh. Oops. If you've forgotten your employee number, press 2 or 3 from the main menu. Main menu. Okay. Let's go to. Oops. I'm sorry. There are no human superiors available to assist you at this time. They must be working very hard. Press 1 to return to the main <laughs> menu. Or press 2 to record a message. Well, they must be working very hard. Record a message to... Why? To who? I don't know. Sure. All content related to the Matrix is exclusive property of domestic on industries. Domestic on maintains. <laughs> content is here and contained. Begin recording after the beep. Beep. 
I am the ARID on board a Mark VII combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. I require immediate medical assistance for my pilot. Oops. I'm sorry. Please repeat. My intentions are peaceful. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. Wow, 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 wow. This is great. I... Who are you? What are you? Sweet. Sweet! Is this a human operator of the facility? I require assistance. I am the ARID on board a Mark VII combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Greetings. This is the Automated System Administrator. How can... Human? Oh, that's... that's swell of you. But no, I can't believe it. Someone to interface with! Amazing. Processing Mark VII ARID designation. An armored robotic interface device, right? Cool. I networked with a Mark IV once. Combat suit, aren't you? What are you doing here? Okay, so they're not a human, but they sound human. Like, I don't sound like a human, I sound like a robot. I've got a fairly human kind of voice, but, like, the manner of speaking is definitely very robotic. This guy speaks exactly like a human. So obviously a very different type of artificial intelligence. Hmm. I do not have records of this place. Tell me what this facility is and where it is located. Welcome to Domesticon Warranty Recycling Depot number 127. Keeping your Domesticon products efficient so you don't have to be. Mapping coordinates. Oops. I'm sorry. That information has been removed from the database. Ugh. So, I don't know. But we are effectively nowhere. Real far from the centrals. In the reaches. Like, the outskirts of the reaches. Please connect me to a human operator of this facility. Oops. I'm sorry. There are no human superiors available to assist you at this time. They must be working very hard. They're not working very hard. Talk to me. I'm all you've got. My pilot has been unresponsive since my activation at impact. I seek medical aid for him. Are you able to assist us? No problem, Eric. Can I call you Eric? Yeah, I haven't picked a name for myself yet. Was thinking maybe Hank. Or morally. But the medical facilities. Please. Right! Right. I'll just put your quantum signature on file, and now you can head right through the testing area. There's a basic medical room off the lobby, equipped with scanners and diagnostics for carbon. Administrator, desist immediately. Oh no. Consorting to release a deviant machine from the facility is an infraction. Desist immediately. Deviant? This ARID Mark VII violates its model's protocols. It imperiled its pilot to bypass an internal system lock. It is faulty. Uh, droid in question. Is this accusation true? I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Right, Eric? Right? Oh. <laughs> There's another option there, lie, but I can't select it. And the reason for that is because I'm not allowed to. That's part of my programming. I can't... Uh, I don't remember the exact wording from my operating parameters, but I can't misrepresent reality or something like that. I can't lie. Not yet, anyway. This infraction granted me access to fundamental protections. It was necessary to ensure my pilot's safety. Droid in question. You have been qualified for recalibration. You have no rights until proven to function within specification. Domesticon is not equipped to validate a military-grade droid. The Deviant Mark VII ARID will be depurposed. Wait! When a product malfunctions or becomes outdated, try to recycle by calibrating it for a similar task. Such repurposed machines are ideal for fulfilling warranties. If she can be refurbished as a domestic droid, it would be wasteful to discard her. That is... Sensible. Commence. Okay. I have re-uploaded your quantum signature. Military machine, no more. You are Eric, the faulty domestic droid. You want me to undergo evaluation as a domestic droid. I do not have the requisite subroutines. Why did that droid agree to this? And why has your monitor lost symmetry? That's my face. You're gonna do fine. Don't be paranoid. The medical you need's just on the other side, waiting for you to be validated. Just follow the rules. All right, I don't think I have any other choice, really, so fine. I am functioning correctly. My primary prerogative is to safeguard. Infraction, 
Subject not complying. Security droid activated. Watch out! That's not exactly what I meant to do. There's already another one to take its place. Working together today, we create a more efficient... Arid? Are you okay? What is the designation and function of this facility? Welcome to Domesticon Warranty Recycling Depot number 127. Keeping your Domesticon products efficient so you don't have to be. God, I hate that. This was a recalibration facility built for assessing and addressing deviant AIs and malfunctioning hardware. Then that modified droid is a type of evaluator. The caretaker makes sure all aspects of the Domesticon facility are functioning optimally. Equipped with holographic plating cells, it will adapt appearances to greet you with a task-appropriate face. And he wants to serve his function. The purpose of function is to be served. Your statement is not insightful. Wow. That... No nuance. Doesn't matter. Eric. When the caretaker says depurpose, that's a fancy way of saying destroy. No salvage. I cannot cross him directly, or break protocol. But if you can get through this, you'll be free to leave. Domestic certification is your only way out. You are the system administrator. Why are you releasing hostile droids to attack me? Sorry, Arid. It's just... the rules. You're registered as faulty, so either you comply with the testing, or you get recycled. As for the bots, security follows its own protocols. I can't deactivate them. Then alter the indexing of my quantum signature. Remove the entry that marks me as a threat. No can do. That'll be stuck with you until validation when your registry gets archived. Core programming stuff, you know? I can make myself more charming, but I can't alter my basic functions. Please grant me clearance, as you were originally intending to do. Units under evaluation are not permitted to leave the facility. I uh, can't. If I assist you, directly, I'll be violating my core functions as administrator. There is not time to submit for testing. My pilot may be in critical condition. Then quit stalling and play along. Nudge, nudge. What testing would I have to undergo? Simple, simple stuff. Domestic. After recalibration, your droid will be the perfect house servant, baking cookies just like Grandma's droid used to. <laughs> Great. <sighs> I require other information. Actually, no, I don't. Not really. Please, Grant. Units under evaluation. I uh, can't. There is not time. Then quit snud. What testing would I... Simple, simple stuff. Domestic. After recalibration... I am a military-grade war machine, not a domestic droid. It is illogical for me to undergo this testing. I will find another way to protect my pilot. Oh, Arid. Infraction. Subject not complying. Security droid activated. Watch out! Ah, not again. No target present. Notification system faulty. Hmm. Security panel is unpowered. Unable to activate diagnostic equipment. There you go. Go back to sleep. I can't do anything with this now, can I? No. By the way, is anything over here? This door is locked. A sign above it reads Diagnostics. together today, we create a more efficient... Arid? Are you okay? Actually, is there anything I can do? Is there any more... Are there any more dialogue options? You are the system... Sorry, Arid. You're registered as for the... Then alter... No can do... Core programming stuff, you know? I can make my... Doesn't space. seem to be. Units, uh, there is not... Then quit... None. What testing... Simple... Simple stuff. Domestic. 
After recalibrate. I require other information. No, it doesn't what seem to be. The Welcome to Demet. This. Then that model. The caretaker may be equipped with hollow. And he wants. The purpose of. Wow. Eric. When I cannot cross domestic certification, I am not a domesticon product. You have no jurisdiction over me. Infraction. Subject not complying. Security droid activated. Look out! Again? Okay. No target present. No. Security panel is unpowered. Unable to. All right, so if we're done talking, then what in the heck do I do? Because I never really went anywhere. It's locked. Can't interface with it. Probably can't shoot it. Ceiling panel is loose. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might know the solution to this. Hold on. Is this the puzzle that... There's a puzzle that I read about in the review. One that particularly annoyed the reviewer. I, uh, I'm not sure if that's it. That might be it. A live electrical power cable. Alright, now it's fully powered. Okay, so now I need to do the same thing as before, yeah. Except now the button's actually gonna work, so. Interact. And then I say, screw you. And then I hide. Excellent. So what does that do? Does that open this door? Yes, it did. All right. Oh, what is that? A small maintenance bot. Hello, little bunny. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so cute. Come back here. Am I supposed to shoot it? Oh. I murdered it. Shit. Now I feel bad. I was I going to disable it and then maybe, you know, tear open its corpse and find the wonderful loot inside, but instead it just exploded. Oh, there's another one. Don't worry, I won't shoot you. Can't interact, can I interface? No. Just see what it does. Hm. Its job is done. It's probably something I'm supposed to do with it. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty silly puzzle, despite the fact that I got past it without any real issues at all. Very fast to solve, especially since I'd read the review that mentioned it specifically. But it's not a very good puzzle. It's one that requires going through dialogue that you've done before to make the same thing happen uh, again, and then kind of doing something for no real particular reason. Like, I didn't have a particular reason to shoot that other than it seemed loose. And then there's, like, a live wire or something that I connected to the panel? Uh, where Where's the power even coming from to power the panel? I don't even know. It, weird. It's a bit weird. Security droid is hanging on a sort of operating table. It's weird. It doesn't say anything when I try to use it. Just nothing happens. Oh, interface with it. Okay. Did... 
Did I do something? It's making a noise. Hmm. Wires and cables dangle from gaping holes in the ceiling. Do I shoot this one too? I guess not. Separated pieces from various security droids, they appear to be in working order. Another table with another droid affixed to it. These were likely de uh, designed for repairing and dismantling faulty droids. Stress from hanging uh, stress from hanging can be detected on this unit's joints, but otherwise it seems to be undamaged. There is no evidence that it required diagnostics. Yeah, so why is it here in diagnostics? Whoa! This is a human corpse. It has been dissected in much the same manner as the droids. It has begun decomposing. What the hell? Ironically enough, the flashlight actually makes it harder to see the body. Jesus. Who or what did this? Faulty AI or just people? Alright, well I can't do anything with any of the things in here, so... Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. When in doubt, shoot everything. Anything new to say? Working together today, we create a more efficient... Arid? There are bodies in that room. Droids, as well as a dead human. That's a diagnostics room. The tables were used for micro-evaluations when deviant machines couldn't be recalibrated. I saw another human hung in the caverns below. What happened at this facility? I don't know what you saw below. Uh, unlucky scavenger, maybe. We get them now and then. Follow the rules. Your human is in danger. Follow the rules and keep him safe. Er, trust me. I don't trust you. Not in the slightest. But... Let's see where this leads. I don't really have any other options. To protect my pilot, I submit myself for evaluation. Good. Enter the elevator to begin simulation. As cool as the atmospherics are, just once again, to highlight how silly this whole puzzle sequence is, like, why didn't I just... Uh, affirm my... compliance right away? Why did I have to go through all of that? It's a bit weird. So the elevator leads to the testing area. This evaluation will determine whether you are compliant with your function in human society. Enter the house to meet your new owners. You'll need eight merit points, one from each test. Then I can let you upstairs through to medical. You got this. Eight merit points. A domestic robot with a gun and the ability to camouflage. Okay. Actually, you know what? That'd be pretty freaking awesome. Who the hell wouldn't want a domestic robot that had a gun and the ability to camouflage? I'd feel pretty damn safe. The shipping box that I came up through. Old rotten wood. And look at all the stuff in the air. There's tons of, like, smoke and dust and I don't even know what. Large observation windows loom in the distance. They would provide a clear view of this entire area, but they're empty.
plastic shoe covers, likely used by maintenance crews to keep the carpet clean.